What's up everybody, it's Chase and J. Miles, and in this video I want to talk to you about the biggest lessons that I've learned from being in real estate in the last 10 years. For those of you who don't know me, welcome, and I have been working as a real estate agent for over 10 years now, and I recently released another video kind of talking about where I am in my career right now and what different changes that I'm going to be making. So if you, that's something that you haven't seen yet, go ahead, go watch that video so you know kind of what's going on in my head. But for this video, I'm going to talk about what are those big lessons that I've learned over the last 10 years. So go ahead, click that thumbs up button and let's get into it. All right, so number one is you got to think about yourself a little bit more. And the reason I say that is because a lot of people come into the business and they decide that they want to become a real estate agent and you go in, out and interview with brokerages and the broker just kind of sell you a dream and when you get into the business you realize it's kind of every man for himself dog eat dog it's this big competitive thing and everybody's running their own businesses so you're thinking that you're going to come into the business getting a lot of help and there's going to be somebody there to hold your hand throughout the whole process but you quickly realize that that's not the case and so you really got to think about yourself more and you have to put more responsibility on yourself. There were some times in my business where I was making decisions and going down roads just thinking about everybody else. Like, oh, they're nice, they're friendly, um, they did this, they did that, and I wasn't really thinking about myself. Where that landed me was me contributing and pouring into so many other people and unfortunately people weren't pouring into me or they weren't doing what I thought that they would do back to me because everybody's just kind of out here in this for themselves. Remember, you're an independent contractor. Even though you're joining a brokerage, you are not an employee. And so you got to think like someone who owns a business. Independent contractors, they make their own money. They, they got to fend for themselves. And so unless someone is on payroll and on salary to help you, more than likely they're not going to be helping you. So think about yourself a lot more. Even with your decisions that you're gonna be making, like should I change brokerages or should I sell commercial versus residential, like think about yourself. Number two is start thinking about your retirement plan. I'm not saying retirement to mean like, oh, when I'm 65 or 70, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna have money? No. When you are an entrepreneur, you're going to be making a lot of money, especially in real estate, and you're probably going to want to retire earlier than most people. Or let's just say you get tired of everything and you want to retire from real estate. What does that plan look like? Now, it doesn't have to be just about a dollar amount saved up or something like that, but put some things in place early on so that way you can retire a lot easier and on your terms. You know, the brokerage that I belong to now has a great compensation plan that I've turned into my retirement plan. It's a passive income plan and strategy and there's stocks involved and there's revenue share like that's a legit retirement plan prior to joining this brokerage i mean i was meeting with financial planners and you know those companies that sell you the life insurance and all that and none of it was really making a lot of sense to me and all i could think about was how much money i was spending to make it in the business and now you're wanting me to take my money that i'm making and put it away when i'm only i was only in my 20s at the time it, it just didn't make sense to me um, plus a lot of those traditional companies are talking about like that true retirement age 65 or or 70 whatever it's going to end up being but for me I was like, I want to retire early. I want to retire at 40. I want to be able to enjoy my life differently from a lot of people. And nobody was really speaking that plan or giving me that option. And so that's one of the big reasons why I'm appreciative of the brokers that I belong to now because we actually have something like that so that you can retire early. Number three, learn to scale. This is a super, super, super important one. So be sure to listen to this one. Learn to scale. What do I mean by scale? 
I mean do things in your business that you can hand off to other people or that you can um, employ other people to do so that way you can do other things and I know that was just real confusing let me let me break it down a little bit you're gonna discover a lot of different ways to make money as a real estate agent um, you're going to discover commercial investing um, easier ways to make money um, brokerages passive income like you're gonna be exposed to a lot of things and you don't want to be the person that gets stuck in your business and you're not able to do something else right you got so many clients or everybody's pulling at you and you can't see a way out it's gonna feel like drowning and I I can't stress this enough because yeah we know that we're great we we want to be the ones to do it all and more but we have this thing in our mind that nobody can do it but us or our clients only want to work with us or the business is not going to succeed if we're not the one doing it and that's not completely true because you can place the right people in your business that can give you more freedom right so set up systems that you can leverage bring people in like when you start hiring your assistant and your buyer's agent and listing agents whatever whoever you end up hiring to your team create processes and systems that can be duplicated so that way they can not only do the jobs but they can teach others how to do the job too what does that do it gives you a lot of time and leverage in your business so that you can explore and do other things so learn to leverage next one is become more than just your city right like i i know you're in real estate to sell in your city to sell in your market area and i thought the same way but doing this for 10 years i have learned that there is so much opportunity out there so much opportunity out there outside of your city and it's an opportunity for you to build a business on a global platform you know with social media and video and just the reach of things there are so many things that you can do within your real estate business outside of your own city. However, if you get stuck in that mentality of only here, I can only work here, um, I only want to market here, then you won't be one of those people that can do things outside of your city. Like, for instance, for me, I've been featured in national magazines, I've, I've been on TV, national news, um, I have a book. I, I have a coaching um, program, coaching group, agents all across the country, and my team, my real estate team, is in many states across this country. I was only able to accomplish that by being more than my city, right? I was, I was using social media for what it's meant to be used for, and I believe that it's meant to go big, to go outside of the bounds. And that's what I did and you can do the same thing so as your business grows think about opportunities outside of your city and if you want to be more really leverage these platforms and leverage social media so that way you can get your reach way further and those are just four of the lessons that I've learned in my career so far again I got more I, I got a lot more but I'm not gonna make this video too long I'll be sure to do a follow-up video on this but let me know down in the comments if anything resonated with you or if you heard something that you hadn't heard before or even if you have another piece of advice another lesson that maybe you learned share that with everybody and if you haven't subscribed yet click that subscribe button I'd love to have you a part of my family here until next time everybody I will talk to you soon